There are a lot of great things about selling on Amazon as a platform, but there are also a lot of bad things as well, and we definitely should talk about them in this video. So remember, before we start, remember to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more, because we have a ton of content about Amazon, eBay, and a bunch of other selling platforms uh, in terms of e-commerce, so there's definitely a lot for you to check out. Number one, competition. So we all know that there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of competition on Amazon as well as like uh, platforms like eBay. It's something that really needs to be talked about because a lot of things that you may be selling on Amazon could already be be on the platform itself and other sellers are trying to sell the exact same product that you are. So it could be very difficult to stand out and to attract customers in this case. The next thing that's a big problem in terms of selling on Amazon are the fees. The fees that Amazon charges can range from a very high variety. And this could be referral fees, a closing fee, a fulfillment fee, as well as a bunch of others that could potentially eat at your profits. And really, you need to understand that if you're going to be selling on Amazon, then you should definitely, like, take your prices, your margins, and make them a lot higher because, you know, a lot of these fees are going to eat at those margins itself. There's something else also, number three, another problem uh, to selling on Amazon is limited control over pricing. So Amazon has a dynamic pricing algorithm, which can change your prices automatically based on a variety of factors, which may not align with your pricing strategy. So the control over the pricing, now we talked about these, the, you know, having these margins and everything. You may not even be having that control because Amazon has that algorithm in place. So this is a very tough conundrum, if you will, to be in if you're trying to sell on Amazon. The next problem that a lot of Amazon sellers are facing is limited control over product presentation. So you, as an Amazon seller, you have limited control over your products and, uh, you know, as they're presented to customers and Amazon's policies and guidelines may not align with your branding and marketing efforts. So let's just say you have a product and you want to display it in a certain way. Amazon may not let you do that. And so you have a very limited control over the way you present your particular item and this could definitely interfere with you growing your brand and growing your business. And it may not align with your best interests. The next uh, problem that you could be facing, this is number five in terms of you selling on Amazon, is limited marketing options. So Amazon has a built-in audience of shoppers, but you will have limited options for promoting your products outside the platform. Once again, we talked about brand building, and we talk about brand building all the time on this channel. What you want to do uh, in terms of whatever you're doing online, in terms of the e-commerce space, whatever you're, you know, you're trying to sell, you want to brand build. You want people to come back to your shop or to you personally over and over and over again to purchase your items, um, you know, from you personally, either it's on a, you know, direct to consumer from your own website Amazon can interfere with a lot of the things that you're trying to do in this particular case. Now, don't get me wrong. There are ways you can actually um, like intertwine your business with Amazon and, and cross promote, if you will. Now, we're not going to get too much into that in this video because we're talking about the problems with Amazon. But this really is something that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to sell on Amazon. Number six, limited scalability. As your business grows, it can be very difficult to scale your operations on Amazon and maintain profitability. We keep on talking about those margins to, you know, to try to make those margins as high as you can, even though Amazon is kind of conflicting in terms of their algorithm, conflicting with how much you want to charge for your particular item because of that algorithm itself on, on uh, Amazon for that dynamic pricing. Um, and scalability is just a huge, huge issue on Amazon. And um, there's just so many more that we're going to get to as well. But we're already on number six. And these are all huge problems 
when you're trying to sell on Amazon, just as it is. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from trying to sell on the platform because it is sincerely one of the best platforms, of course, for you as an e-commerce uh, person or if you want to sell your own product, whatever it is. Um, Amazon is one of the best for that. So the next one that we're going to be talking about is limited analytics and data. Amazon provides some data and analytics, but it can be very limited, which can make it difficult to optimize your sales and marketing efforts. So once again, of course, we keep on talking about scalability for your own brand. Brand building is one of the most important things that you could do on uh, any sort of e-commerce space, any sort of uh, either it's Etsy or whether it's your own website, and your you know your brand itself has to expand, it has to grow. Amazon keeps on getting in the way with that. The next way they're trying to uh, do that with here for against against what your best interests are, again, like we just said, the data and the analytics. There's a lot, a very limited amount of things that you could see from in terms of data and analytics that Amazon gives you. And it's really just going against your best interests. It's conflicting with that. Because again, rule number one in business is scaling up. You need to scale up. Aside from, of course, selling the products, that's obviously going to be your number one goal, to sell as many products as you possibly can, to move as many units as you can. But the next way is, you know, the next uh, most important thing, I should say, is to sell more units the next quarter or the next year and so on and so forth. Amazon gets in the way of that a lot of the time here, as we are seeing just by this list itself. Uh, the things that we're talking about in terms of the bad, the problems, the, the bad of selling on Amazon. Limited control over customer service is going to be the next one we're going to be talking about right now. As an Amazon seller, you will be responsible for handling customer service, but you will be limited in your ability to control the customer service. What I will say is, from Amazon, from a buyer's perspective, Amazon is by far one of the best customer service tools that you can ever <laughs> reach out to. Um, and, and to try to uh, to get your money back from an item, to try to return an item that means broken, so on and so forth. Amazon's customer service team is just literal, quite literally second to none, which could be very bad if you are a seller on the platform. Amazon handles customer service in their own way, and you are limited in the way that you can handle this. The next and the final problem and it's probably the biggest problem of all we have saved the, the the probably the worst for last if you will is risk of suspension this is one of the reasons why i have not gone full throttle in terms of selling on amazon what i have done personally is don't get me wrong i, I have definitely dabbled in selling on amazon for sure because let's be honest it's one of the best platforms again to sell on and I've done very well selling on Amazon. But the reason why I have not, you know, focused on Amazon more than, let's just say, Etsy, Redbubble, uh, just every, all the above, um, you know, eBay, my own website. I mean, the list goes on and on in no, no particular order, by the way, of, of the, listing those um, as the years have gone on. And that's because the risk of suspension of a on Amazon is just so high that it has the, the, one of the strictest policies against violators if you are suspended. It could be uh, suspended on Amazon. You, you'll never be able to sell again, essentially, if you are suspended from the platform. There have been a lot of people that have violated their terms and conditions and have not been able to get back on, whatever it is, whatever, however... Um, whatever happened to you, I don't know. Um, and I would definitely consult an attorney to really understand a lot of the, uh, the nuances of their terms and conditions and how you can get back on, but that's a whole other story. Um, luckily, I have not been suspended from Amazon, 
luckily that has not been something that has happened to me because, I mean, knock on wood, that is one of the worst things that can happen to pretty much any seller who's really trying to market themselves with e-commerce. And I, I've, you know, said a lot of bad things about Amazon, of course, in this video, but Amazon still is, you know, one of the best e-commerce platforms out there. And it would be horrible for anyone to get suspended on, on Amazon. There are ways to get back on <laughs> They, they, they joke that there are ways to get back in the jungle because get it it's an Amazon sorry sorry I just love puns but um you get the point I mean it's just there's a lot of bad things and there's a lot of good things in Amazon and we're gonna we're definitely gonna be talking about a lot of the good things in uh, a, 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 the next video so remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more thank you so much for watching everyone I'll see you in the next video